when you guys are learning how to do this, all right, the main important thing that I want you guys to do is identify what A, H, and K are. Remember on the front, I tell you all those different, I give you this transformational equation, yes? <coughs> identify what those are. If you don't remember how to do it, at least identify what A, H, and K is. A, in this example, is 2. Or let's say, the equation looks like this. A is 2, OK? H is 5. Please note that H is 5. It's x minus H. So it's x minus 5. So H is 5, positive 5. Very important for you guys to remember that. K is 1, OK? Now, how do you graph this? So first of all, I'm going to I'm going to remind you guys of what the parent graph looks like. You don't have to do this, but when you guys are learning how to do this, I think this is helpful. This is what y equals x equals. That's what I gave you guys on the front page, right? You don't have to graph this, but if you want to graph the parent graph for every one of your graphs, that's fine. Because all you guys are going to do is take this graph and transform it based on these values, OK? So first of all, h tells you to shift the graph h units left and right, horizontal shift. So 5, since h is 5, that's going to tell me to shift my graph 5 units to the right. It gets confusing because people see the negative in the equation and they want to go to the left. But just remember, the equation says x minus h. So you're actually shifting it to the right. So I'm going to go 5 units to the right, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. k is going to be my vertical shift up and down. k is 1. So that's going to tell me to shift my graph up 1 unit. So now, where my old vertex is, now I have my new vertex. Do you guys see how my vertex has been shifted five units to the right and up one unit? It originally was at 0, 0. I've shifted it five units up and five units over and one unit up. Does everybody see that? Now, remember what we talked about the parent graph. The parent graph has a slope of up one, over one, up one, over one, up one, over one, right? But now, A is affecting that. A, remember, is shrinking my graph horizontally. So we can represent that by treating that like the slope of our lines. So from our vertex, I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 left 1, up 2 left 1. And now I can graph. So what I want you guys to see from my original graph, what did 2, 5, and 1 do? It shifted my graph 5 units to the right. It shifted my graph 1 unit up. And the 2 horizontally compressed my graph by changing the slope of the lines. Instead of 1 over 1, it's now up 2 over 1. Does everybody see that? Okay. Now, one thing I just want to make sure you guys are